Haskell, enabling with system. Haskell native data, now in NX. Haskell is offering designers a new database. Our customers can now use plates and accessories natively in their NX system. On the right side, you see the parameters that you can set individually. We select the width and length of the plate, and this will then change directly. The material can also be specified as a parameter, ensuring that the order reference is generated correctly. We naturally have more than just plates in the program. An extensive range of accessory components is also available in the new database. We now columnize the plate with bolts from the integrated database. To do this, we simply select a bolt from the categories on the left and insert the bolt into the hole. The diameter is proposed by the hole, so there is no need to change this parameter. We then just select the parameters for L1 and L2. Afterwards, the component will be positioned through the concentricity constraint. Additional bolts can be placed in the plate using the pattern feature. Here again, the specified parameters are important since these are taken up again in the properties. The order number is similarly controlled by the parameters. If we now change the part via the specified parameters, the patterned components will also change with them. The database not only contains bolts, but also includes complex accessories such as this round latch locking device. Here again, as with the bolts, you can specify the desired parameters for the product. Not only can you set the parameters of relevance for the order number, but you can also set the stroke required for correct positioning of the parts in the assembly, which is specific to your individual application. This can be set via a controller or a direct input. Let's now come back to the assembly. If we want to add a square guide bar, we go to the centering elements. When we select square guide bar Z071, you can see that it is marked in red. That's because we have negative models for this component. Here again, you select the parameters that you require and the component will change accordingly. You can use the Create Pocket function to specify which negative body is to be removed from the plate. By default, this will be the false body. In our case, it is the mid-tolerance installation space. It is also possible to select a maximum material cutter. You can choose. The default can also be set to your requirements here. You then simply position the component at the point you require. How do you now get this data? Simply go to the Hasco homepage and the menu item Hasco CAD Service. Select the NX option and download the database. Once the database has been successfully downloaded, it can easily be added via the reused library in NX. Select and incorporate the storage location for the data and you've already got the latest Hasco NX data in your system. Hasco, enabling with system.